Well, it's not just the warmer temperatures that have it feeling like springtime. Also, those allergies. And if you think you've been suffering symptoms earlier than normal, you're not wrong. New research shows that allergy season could be getting longer and more intense. WCT's Delaney Tarpley spoke to an ear, nose and throat doctor here in Wilmington. Delaney, I know a lot of people are asking the question, when will this pollen stop? But did the doctor say if he has a lot of patients suffering? Daniela, the doctor told me that he saw patients with allergy symptoms way earlier this year. The good news is he says there are ways to manage it. Spring has sprung, and so have Sarai Smith's allergies. It gets worse as flowers start growing more and grass starts growing more. I experience red eyes, puffy face, and itchy around my arms and my nose. For Smith, spring is almost always marked with a trip to visit her grandpa in Wilmington, where she says her symptoms are worse. She says as soon as she steps off the plane, I noticed my eyes started getting red when I got here. Even back home in California, she says she's started noticing her symptoms earlier. I'm an allergy season, it's, getting, it's been getting longer. Researchers back up her observation. According to a study by the University of Utah, since the 90s, allergy season seems to be starting about 20 days earlier. Ear, nose and throat doctor John Boyle with Wilmington Health says he's noticed an increase in patients earlier this year as well. The March it seems to be a little bit earlier than the average, uh, just in my own experience. I think it's been a, a fairly standard, although maybe a little bit earlier uh, time of year where I feel like there's been more um, you know, symptoms and like visible kind of changes of, of trees pollinating and stuff than maybe it's been warm. There is relief, though. There are plenty of environmental control things people can do, and so um, you can have air purifiers and, you know, keeping your windows closed if there's active pollen out. For some, medication might be the best solution. Something Smith had to turn to when her allergies made it so she didn't even want to go outside. Now with her prescription, Smith says she's able to take full advantage of springtime. And I can feel really relieved that I can just come outside, just sit down and not having to worry about itching or scratching. I get to spend time with my family. Another fact from the research is about one in four adults across the country experience seasonal allergies. For a full list of Dr. Boyle's recommendations for managing symptoms, as well as how to tell the difference between a standard cold and an allergy, be sure to visit this story over on our website and your WECT News app. Blaney, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be logging on to look at those recommendations for if they are allergy sufferers.